Well, the outside temps are staying above freezing every single day for the foreseeable future, which means we need to get this greenhouse closed in. We're just going to focus on the back end wall and the front end wall. We still do have to do um, the bottom sides, another layer of the 1x4s down below, but we're not going to worry about that right now. We're just going to get the end walls done because then that'll trap in a lot of the extra heat uh, so that we can eventually get some plants in here, hopefully in a couple weeks. But first we kind of have to reassess all the different parts and pieces we have and then we're going to get started on putting it together. Probably just start at the top, yeah? Top center? Yeah. So basically... That's going to cause points where this is going to tear, though. Yeah, that's true. Okay, we'll just... Uh... I mean, I would think stop at, start at the top center, too. It's, it's pretty sharp, these edges. Huh. Yeah, that's just Huh? Huh. Because <laughs> the length doesn't even like totally fit. Anyway. So maybe we just, we start in the middle, but maybe put it like this. Yeah, that's kind of what I was thinking. I, I don't think I could bend that. Why don't you just try to bend it first? That'll be easy. Do you think so? Okay. Yeah. What's holding my leg gonna do? I don't know. He's <laughs> trying to stop it. He would never fall. <laughs> now hold this thing. Hold up. Oh, I can do that. Oh, do you want the plastic not to be underneath it though? That's true. There we go. Okay. Got it? Yep. Oh yeah. We're done. <laughs> Hello beetle. Oh. Do you want to hold it in the middle or do you? No, it's fine. This is not a flat surface. It's fine. See? Mm -hmm. Until the leg bends and I go or down. Or until this little, this has like, it's hollow in the bottom. I know, so it sunk collapses. right in right when I stepped on. Uh oh. Oh, screw down. Cody, we don't have any extras. You don't know that. No, you don't. Right. You should have extras. Put it in just before the bend, or actually, you probably put it like here. I'd say here, or I could try it like right here. Right, on the. Right okay. Oh my goodness. Oh my goodness. Okay, like right here. How do you do that? You gotta just push hard. Yeah. Ouch. I need to be taller. I don't have any down force. You have a footstool then. Okay. And I also want to be on that side. There you go. Why? Oh, yeah, just use your opposite hand. I coordinated with my opposite hand. I barely coordinated with my good hand. Oh no. I don't need this. Oh no. I can't stand on this thing. It wobbles, but it's okay. It's not, it's leaning backwards. That's fine. Oh, that's... Don't worry about it. Okay. I need a hammer. <laughs> I didn't use a hammer. You just push it in there. It's self-tapping. No, it's not. Yes, it is. It's a lie. Why are you so crooked? <laughs> I'm not crazy. It's just going down. It's traveling down the thing. Well, you're not holding it straight. What do you mean? <laughs> you gotta hold it perfectly straight, then it won't move. <laughs> Cody, 
I can barely put the, sh the metal screws in the sheet metal on the roof. I just want to watch you struggle a little bit, and I'll do it for you. You did every single one on the side, didn't you? Probably. I'm not doing one by four. Hey, that's my foot. Is it? I thought it was the last step of the chair. <laughs> There's only two steps. <laughs> yes, I don't know. Here, you don't here. need this. You're taller. Where are you putting it? Right here? Well, you can kind of see my line down further, actually. Oh, yeah, right there, yeah. What? Just... All right, done. Yeah. <laughs> you take that credit. I was going to back it out and put it back in, but I was like, I don't know if these screws are supposed to do that. Uh, oh. The bad crease right off the bat. That is the crease where the top is, but I need it to crease back a little bit too. <clears throat> okay. I'm gonna put one in right at the top, maybe. There's or... a bolt right at the top. Oh. I don't want it. Oh. How uneven we were. Good you were the one that did it. This what do you mean gets, we? This one gets just past this bar. That one's like a ways from it. Yeah, you were the one that did it, not me. Well, you're saying we. Look we, how uneven we are. We. Like it's a team effort or something. Yeah, I saw you put a screw in. I did. If you use your imagination, we got one. That's why I am scared to do those. Oh, I saw it. It went right there. Your finger okay? That hurts. Is it bleeding? No. Alright, I'm gonna go check on her while you're doing that last screw. Don't cut off your finger while I'm gone. easy done done well with this side for right now yeah okay belly Maybe. crawl under there and get the rest of the parts we can go to that side Tony try to pull a little tight too there you go okay let's get the worst of it not super pretty but 
we'll just come back and cut that stuff off. Yeah, I don't think I'm going to be too worried about the extra flaps until after we permanently put this where we want it to be. Oh, I think we messed it. Why? Right there. I don't think it needs to be anywhere else. I think one of the most annoying things that we have to deal with on the property is clay. The whole property is clay. It is awful to work with. It doesn't let the water drain. It's awful for growing in. It's awful to build on. Just everything about it is awful. I had to shovel out for the door to be able to open, but it is just, it's still somewhat frozen over here where I was scraping off, but step over here, it's just, a mess and it's gonna take a long time for this to dry because it just does not let the water through at all but we have a door opening and closing I really want to cut the door open. Yeah. Well, I don't actually want to do it because this is a mess. Do you want me to do it? <laughs> well, I want to, but this I don't want to stand in. Okay. I just go right down the middle, right? There's no yeah. reason to. Whew, there's no going back. Oh, we probably should have done. Doesn't matter. There is no going back. This is now what it is. Yeah, 
know you hate this. Just bear with me. Oh. I can do the bottom. No, yeah. I'm cutting the door. Yes. <sighs> Besides, you've got your white sweatpants on. That's fine. Basically just amateur hour with you right now. No, it's okay. It's okay. I know you don't like it when I bend over, but it's fine. Oh, I still got a lot to do on this greenhouse yet. We gotta <laughs> cut all these end pieces off. Well, maybe tomorrow we can work on, you know, those little pieces left still. Yeah, maybe. I don't think, I think it's gonna be a while before we get to the bottom boards. Yeah, we won't do the bottom boards. Not till probably next year or this fall, it depends. Okay. okay. As long as you have Not until we know exactly how this greenhouse is going to be. If we're going to lift it up higher or whatever. Or move it. Or, you know, even if we decided that we wanted to lift it up, if we got plastic that was only like, you know, we can leave all of this and just on that wiggle wire just add in just the lower portion if we really needed to. Yeah. I don't know how you do the door. Or if you lift it up, just put wood planks on the side. You know, because we have our, we're going to have like three mounds, basically a mound of dirt here, a mound in the center, and a mound on that side. And you know, you're going to have it mounded up with dirt anyway. True. The door, you just have to step up, step down. Oh yeah, that'd be fine. I mean... How does it lock? Just pushes in? Push it in. Okay. All right. Where are you gonna put it? Like right here somewhere? Yeah. Okay. Except how does that go out? I just screw right over top the wiggle wire. Yeah. Yeah, those are the wolves. I already paying attention. She hears them. Okay, well. Can we call her in Man, here? they're can pretty close. The dog? I don't want her to take off. She's not going to take off. Yeah, those really don't sound that far, do they? No. She's still in the trailer, right? Yeah. There. She's sitting now, though. She's ready. It's tight. Works. Well, that's because it needs to be a short thing. Works.
this one side, get the other side and then this whole end will be done. That's it. Nothing else to do on this greenhouse. We're working on burning a bunch of scraps from the sawmill and just punky junk wood today. Got quite the fire going. Um, and we just remembered that the drone should be findable now. So the birch tree is right over there. There's no more snow. And I think we're gonna go take a look before the shrubbery grows up and we can't find it. Hopefully there's no damage over there. I can see it from here actually. You can see it from here? Yep. I'm never gonna find this thing, am I? Yeah, you will. You will just walk down the trunk, you'll find it. Go that it. way? Yeah. That was too tall. Is it on the tree? No. It's like a scavenger hunt. It's a hard scavenger hunt. <laughs> I don't even know if I remember what color it is or what it looks like. Is it white? Yeah, it's like a white gray. Okay. It's little. You gotta go walking down that tree a ways. A ways? Yeah. Oh, I see it. <laughs> It's just folded in. Ugh. I know you don't like it when I bend like that. But how does this open again? It won't look like anything's broken. The blades are good. The arms are good. It's just whether or not this. The little camera, but it looks fine. Guess we'll have to, uh, we'll probably set it inside, let it dry out let good, dry. and then we'll uh, I wonder, charge is there... it up and see. We might have been lucky. And then I've got to figure out moving this big tree. We've got to cut it up for lumber and firewood Ooh. up past the split. Ooh. That's a thick tree. I forgot how big this tree was. It was a big tree. But, we need to go. Successful drone retrieval! So this giant pile of stuff right here was all left on the property when we purchased it. There's kind of just shredded plastic everywhere. All these posts kind of have nails in them. There's some random tin cans and tarps that are all kind of just disintegrating. And then what looks like there used to be a wood pile, but all of this is just very much junk wood. So our plan is we're gonna take all of this junk wood, load it into the side-by-side, -side, and then we're gonna use that as a base in the greenhouse to kind of just fill in those major holes before we start leveling it out and bring in dirt um, and stuff like that.
So this is something that we kind of started cleaning up last summer, but didn't really take a lot of time. Um, it was really frustrating for me that there was so much just shredded plastic everywhere because I thought that we wouldn't have to deal with that and we already did. So we're gonna do, really we're just gonna clean up the firewood today I think. So a lot of this might still be here for a while. because so we have to figure out these posts because they've got nails and we don't want to be burning those in places that there's just gonna be a bunch of nails left over. Really not much left in this movie. So yeah. I don't think it's gonna really hurt our garden too much. It's already mostly broke down. Yeah. Well, and there was one that I picked up that just like crumbled in my hand. Yeah. It was really gross. So, we're gonna load it up. raining right now but we are going to get all of that kind of deteriorating wood chunks and we're going to kind of fill in the bigger holes that we have here everywhere yeah 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 we don't really have the tools to be able to uproot everything inside of here so we're going to yeah just take that rotten wood fill in the holes and then we'll bring in some dirt and mound over top of the over top of everything i suppose uh, the middle aisles will probably fill in with sawdust where we're walking, but we won't be planting in it, so it won't be a big deal. And this wood is broken down enough that I'm not thinking it should take from the soil too much and shouldn't hurt the garden much. But we'll get started. Finished putting the junk wood, filling the holes, so now we're gonna shovel up a bunch of this sawdust from this winter and uh, fill in the pathways. And then we will hopefully be picking up dirt tomorrow to fill in on the, each one of the rows. Nice to see the piles uh, shrink once in a while instead of just grow. Yeah. Same with those cutoffs that we've been burning. Mm. Yeah. And there's still so many. There's still so many. And there's still so many to come. <sighs> Alright, um, a lot of this I think is going to fall while you're driving.
finished up for today. The sawdust is all in. It only took two loads with the side-by-side -side to get what we wanted done. It, uh, I think it turned out pretty good. Down at the end there where it uh, isn't quite as thick, that's because we have a strawberry bed right there and we didn't feel like getting that uprooted and transplanted right now. So it's gonna stay there for this year. Otherwise, it didn't turn out bad. We got just two pathways, the area in front of the door, and then we will be getting dirt put in these three rows. Uh, being we took two loads of sawdust with the side-by-side, -side, I'm guessing going and picking up dirt with the truck, we're probably going to want probably at least four loads. But we'll see. Hopefully it doesn't take that many, but I'm kind of guessing it will. So we just got back from town with a truckload of dirt. Woo! I'm slipping in the mud. Very muddy right here. Um, so we didn't get screened dirt or screened topsoil, I should say, because they um, they said it was still kind of too wet and just for our small load, they weren't going to get the machine running for it. So it's not screened. So instead, we're trying to find a way to screen it ourselves. So this is kind of the system we've come up with. Before you shovel it. Uh, yeah. <laughs> so, oh, it's okay, Rowan. So we've got our wheelbarrow. And then we have this grate that we found on the property when we got here. So that's kind of a pretty decent size. Yeah, pretty decent. So we're putting that grate on top of the wheelbarrow and then shoveling the dirt on top of the grate and then we're going to kind of just yeah send it through and then the rocks we're putting in a bucket and just dumping elsewhere so this is kind of the system cody's shoveling it and then i'm kind of just getting it through the grate then we're going to wheelbarrow it in and slowly fill the greenhouse so we'll see how far this one bed gets us i don't think it's going to be very i don't think it's going to be very far and I don't think it's going to be very thick. So we have quite a few loads in our future, which we've toyed with the idea of building some quick little walls for the trailer at some point and just doing a trailer load. But that's a ways from now because we do need to have the solar panels on there. confuse people with how the weather is around here. Me being fully bundled and you were in a t-shirt. <laughs> easier than you because I have the little furnace that I'm snuggling. <laughs> so then when I go do stuff, I'm starting off chillier because I'm not under blankets snuggling a little furnace yeah. anymore.
<laughs> Gotta give it a little shimmy. A little shimmy shake. So this is some of that horse manure um, compost stuff that we got. So this is the more composted bit. Um, and I think what I'm going to do right now, I'm not sure if I want to like try to mix it in with the dirt or if I just want to sprinkle it on top. So I think I'm going to do a little bit of both and then just see whichever one I like to do. Um, so far we do only have this one row still done with just the dirt. Um, we still have the other two rows to do, but it is going to take a lot of time. Uh, but this is at least a general idea of what we're doing. The dirt isn't super thick. The compost layer isn't going to be super thick, but it's at least going to be something to get us started. And then over the years, we'll kind of keep adding to it to make it thicker, to make it better. But, you know, just for this first year of really just trying to get it started, this is just what we're working with. Um, you know, obviously plant life still grows in the clay below. It's just not quite as easy. Um, and it might have just different nutrients down there, but they still can root down into the clay. Um, so this is just kind of what we're going to do. We do have a lot of like leaves and kind of like the top layer of just the natural ground out here has a lot of leaves and just like broken down ferns and stuff like that in it. So I think my plan is I'm going to rake up a bunch of that stuff to use as kind of like a mulch or top layer once the things are actually planted in there. So I think I am going to kind of like mix it in with the dirt a little bit, kind of just like do that. But just for right now to make sure that I kind of know where I'm at with throwing in the compost, I'm not going to mix it in until I get it all done. And then kind of as I'm planting things, I'll probably like mix the compost in with the dirt, plant the plants, and then over top of it, I'll kind of just mulch it with leaves and stuff like that that I'm kind of just going to rake up throughout the woods. So that's the plan. And, you know, it's not perfect, but I think it's a pretty good start.